Welcome to my world. Las Vegas was little more than a dusty stopover on the way to Los Angeles when Dean Martin first hit town. He started as a dealer, a skinny kid out of Steubenville, Ohio, who had dreams of putting his own name amongst the strip's glittering marquees. Little did young Dino Crosetti know at the time that he would become the biggest name Las Vegas had ever known. Knock, and the door will open. Dean Martin is likely to be Las Vegas' most popular attraction. He's played to sold-out houses as he does these days at the MGM Grand for over a quarter of a century. In the lobby, as well as in the back rooms, Vegas veterans know the importance of Dean to their city. Dean Martin meant as much or more to Las Vegas than anybody that's ever worked here, and he still does. To me, Dean Morton's name is synonymous with Las Vegas. Vegas is the place. Love it. Yeah? Oh, sure. I remember last time was, I didn't know this girl. I said, do you gamble? She says, no, I want to be paid right now. <laughs> Why are we afraid to do our own radio show? After all, how big an egg can we lay? How big? Well, if we took a large hen and got it to hold back for two years... All right, Jerry, all right. Dean first appeared as a performer in Las Vegas as part of the classic comedy team of Martin and Lewis. The duo also made 16 films in their partnership, which lasted nearly 10 years. But in 1956, Dean showed more of his gambler's nerve by walking away from a sure thing. He ended the act with Jerry. I really admire that choice that you made in, in changing your career. I had to. I was getting tired of doing the same thing with Jerry. Nobody was paying attention to me, and I knew it. I was just a straight man. But I loved it for only one reason. I never had to learn dialogue. Because he would say, I think I'm going down to the drugstore. And i say, oh, you're going to the drugstore? I just repeat. Oh, straight men always repeat what the comedian says. You never have to learn anything. I like to see the chips and the light and the trips. How about you? The decision to leave Lewis turned out to be a jackpot for Martin. Dean made the most of a chance to make a name for himself in Hollywood as a dramatic actor in The Young Lions with Marlon Brando. As Dean began the fight to establish his own film career, another actor who was coming off a near-fatal auto accident got through his role with the help of Dean Martin. In The Young Lions, you developed a... Um, pretty extraordinary friendship with him coming Cliff, didn't you? Oh, yeah. He was so sick. He was, you know, in that wreck. And nobody paid any attention to him. I used to carry him to the restaurant. And I loved him so much because he was so helpless. But nobody else paid attention to him. I loved him. I loved him very much. When you're drinking With the kind of success that Dean Martin has enjoyed in his show business career, it's easy to see why he always seems poised to drink a toast. But Dean says audiences would be surprised to find out what's really inside that glass. Are you really a drinker? No. Oh, I didn't think so. I drink like you drink, and I don't know how much you drink. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, couldn't have, I couldn't have stayed in this business 50 years if I drank as much as they say I drink. People don't realize that, but they want, they want that. It's very difficult. I've worked a series, and I know that it, it is impossible to do the job. You cannot and, work if you're drunk. Yeah, it really is impossible. Oh, no. I walk on stage with about that much apple juice. They think that's bourbon. Now, if anybody, a singer especially, drank that much in one gulp, not only could he not sing, you, you couldn't talk. <laughs> and I give it a little shake like it bothered me. Apple juice. And now here's the topper. I hate apple juice. <laughs> Those who've you known think? Dean since his early days in Las Vegas say he really hasn't changed. Once a gambler, always a gambler. Wager? Little wager? Okie dokie. Uh, what would you like to wager? Mm.
like the color. I, I could have it repainted any color you want. No, it's fine, thanks. Fine? Yeah. Well, maybe next time we'll play for your other car. The other car? I did. Bye. Bye. Bye.